program and support services, more classification, right? You might be like, oh my gosh, so much classification, but this is good, right? This is important and it is helpful. You're going to get free points on this on the exam. If I have a service where, just basically right here, program, this is core to its activity. For a university, what do we do? We educate and re-research. For hospitals, we do patient care and education, you know, uh, medical education. For unions, we negotiate labor wages, training, we uh, negotiate hours and salary, and child daycare, we take care of the kids. So if you have costs that are related to these, those are program services. So anything that is not for a program activity that supports these, you know, hence the name, support, that supports the program services is going to be support services. So you don't exist to fundraise, right? Any of these don't exist to fundraise, but they need to fundraise to raise money for these activities. Uh, management in general, admin expenses, you don't pay an accountant because that's what you do. You pay an accountant because you need to maintain your books for the not-for-profits. Membership development, This, these are going to be costs related to you know, developing your members, training them, just anything admin more related, right? So these are the program services are the core purpose of why the not-for-profit exists. These are items, and I like to say, to keep the lights on, right? To keep the lights on and keep it operating day to day.